What's up YouTube? Today we got a pack car in a Kenworth and we're going to show you how to replace your water pump. This will save you a whole lot of money and it's not a bad job. You guys come take a look and we'll walk you through it. This is old man in the country that I know. No money in what he used to grow. No, he don't care what people think. When a farmer turns into a Mississippi. All right, guys, these are what tools you're going to need, and we're going to show you how to do it. Like I say, you need to tackle this job yourself. Ain't no need to pay a dealer because we're going to show you how simple this bad boy can be. While Bill's going to go over the tools you're going to need, and we're going to get after it. First thing, we got a couple of work lights. It's always handy on the job. Got a pry bar. Uh, half inch ratchet with a 15 millimeter socket, three eighth ratchet with a 12 millimeter socket, and a couple extensions for just in case. All right, let's go do it. All right, guys, as you can see, Wild Bill's under there, and you can see he's got right there, he's got an eight millimeter Allen. We forgot to mention that one a while ago. That's how we drain the coolant out. So we'll make sure you got a pretty good size catch basin and we'll show you the fancy one we use here at the shop. As you can see, it's just the bottom of a 55 gallon drum that we've cut off and that is what we use. Super fancy equipment. Pull that plug out of there. Let all your water drain out. Here it stops so wild beetle crack the reservoir cap. So let all that drain out and we'll show you what to do next. Alright guys, I know it's gonna be a little hard to hear because it's raining, raining, raining here. We told you wrong, it's not a 15 millimeter, it's going to be a 17 millimeter. Sorry. Alright, so wild bill's gonna show you what to do here. So Get the belt off of it. There's a tensioner pulley. You can see he's got a socket on it. Of course, we're on the passenger side of the truck. He's pushing toward the driver's side of the truck. And you can take your belt off. That simple. All right, guys, there's going to be 12 millimeter bolts on here. And I think there's going to be five of them. We're going to do a complete coolant system flush anyway. So we're going to go ahead and take the coolant filter off. We can put a new one on it and replace the water pump. And we will show you guys where the bolts is and how to get them out. Work your way all the way around and get them all broke loose. And the next hardest thing is just back your bolts out. I say, guys, super simple job. You can save yourself a whole, whole lot of money by doing it. And that's why we're making this video to show you how simple and easy it is. Um, <clears throat> me and Bill was talking before the cameras cut on. This boat's talking about how easy a Detroit water pump is to put on, but I believe this one has actually got the Detroit beat. This one's actually easier, easier than that, so. This will probably be the easiest water pump you'll ever replace in your life on a big trip. But you guys get the picture. We're not gonna bore you any longer with taking the bolts out, and we'll show you what's in it. All right, we got all five bolts out, so now, there's no piping, no hoses, nothing you have to worry about on a pack car other than pulling the five bolts off and yanking that bad boy out there. So, take a little bit of nudging and bumping and it should come um, right off. Broke loose there. And there 
she is, guys. It's that simple. All right, guys. There it is. She's off the truck. And the reason why we had to replace it, it was leaking. Um, Bill's going to show you here where she was leaking out. It's got a weak hole. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's the yeah. As you guys can see, it's been leaking out of there. All right, guys, as you can see, we got a brand new water pump here. And um, this one is made a little bit different. And I'll show you the difference. I mean, it's the exact same water pump, but it's made a little bit different. As you can see, right there is the weep hole. And this one, where the other one's on the end of the, kind of like this little rounded part here. So anyway, there it is on this one. So... What we're gonna do next is we're going to take some water-based lubricant and we're gonna lube the O-ring and that way we can put it in there and she won't be dry. So let's get after it. All right guys, you can see Wild Bill is lubing it up. If you don't have any water-based lubricant, um, you can use KY Jelly and that will work just fine, but you know, if it's petroleum based, you can use Vaseline or O-ring lube or whatever. It's water based. Make sure to use a water base. All right, we ready to go wrestle this bad boy back in place and get her going. All right, guys, the fun part is wrestling it back in there around the fan blade and the um, housing for the coolant filter. You gotta fiddle with it till you get it in there because you can't really twist it because the way it seats in there with the O-ring just gets your bolt holes lined up and get them stuck back in there. We're not gonna bore y'all with putting bolts in hand tight. So we'll cut this off till we get ready to go to the next step. Just make sure you get all five of them back in the hole. All right, Wild Bill's got them all back in our hand tight and the 12 millimeter is on the ratchet cutter. So we're gonna go back to work. Um, for all you guys that say, oh, you can't use comfort grips because they get dirty. Hmm. Sorry about that. All right, guys, we ready to tighten her back up. Wild Bill's gonna show you. Like I say, all you guys that think comfort grip, you can't use them because they'll get dirty. Well, that's real cute. But, all right, let's do it. You don't want to have them crazy tight because <clears throat> they wouldn't crazy tight when we pulled them out. So, just get them good and snug. All right, you got her tightened back up. So, now you got to put your 17 millimeter back on there on the temperature pulley and get your belt back on it. Pay attention when you're doing this, you don't get your finger underneath there because. I'm, I'm not speaking from experience, but I just figured it hurt like crap. So, <clears throat> anyway, get your belt put back on there, and we'll show you what to do next. All right, as you seen Wild Bill got the belt put back on the water pump, now he's going to tell you what he's looking for right here. You want to make sure this one actually goes around the crankshaft back here at the back. You want to make sure it's round good on this side and the grooves like it's supposed to be. I'm gonna go to the driver's side and check that side too. Just reaching down and feeling with his hand, making sure it's all on there and everybody's laying in a groove like it's supposed to, because everybody loves to be groovy. Look good? Good to go. Awesome. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open up this fine Napa Gold filter, which is a coolant filter, and we're gonna put it on here. And that way, when we put the plug in the bottom, we'll be ready to refill with coolant. Told you guys this wasn't hard to do. <laughs> All right, as you can see, Wild Bill's putting that on there, and I'll take a sharpie and we'll write the date on that thing that we'll know when to change it. You don't have to get crazy tight with that either. Let's snug her up there. And we're ready to go back on the truck, stick the plug back in it.
All right, as you all see, Wild Bill's back under the truck. And he's gonna put the plug back in there. Tighten that back up. I'm not gonna bore y'all with that. Just remember, don't over strip it or over tighten it and strip it out. So stick it back in there and we'll be ready to put some coolant back in this beast. All right, we got our Napa brand heavy duty coolant antifreeze. Um, this is 100%, so one gallon actually makes two. So we're gonna refill the truck. We'll do a couple of gallons of antifreeze and then we'll fill the jugs back up with water. And then we'll pop some tops on some new antifreeze. So let's get her filled up. That Napa brand's pretty in paint too. I'm not gonna bore you guys with refilling it with antifreeze. Y'all know how to do that. All right, so far guys, we've got four bottles of antifreeze put in there and we refilled them with water. So that's a total of eight gallons. That's the fifth gallon of antifreeze. So we're gonna top her off as much as we can get in there to the full mark. And then we'll show you guys how to help get the air out. All right, you guys can see she's full. So what we'll do now, we'll fire the truck up and don't be alarmed because it should burp and then suck the water down. So just keep a check on your water level. Um, and we'll show you guys how that guys so so far we've got the four full gallons of antifreeze four full gallons of water and we're going to use the fifth gallon full of antifreeze and about half of that full of water we let the truck run as you can see she's back up to where she needs to be got everything burped out we should be good to go like always if you like this video be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe down here below and we will catch you guys next time y'all have a great night